In this session, we're going to have a look at how we can use GOMO's display conditions to determine what the learner sees on the screen based on the device type that they're viewing the content on. So, for example, in this case, I'm going to say that if the learner's looking at the content, say, on desktop, then we're going to have more on-screen real estate. So I've got more space to put uh, more text and maybe an image to support that text. But if the learner is just looking at it, say, on a smartphone on the go, then I want to just show uh, more condensed text and uh, not to show an image. So I want to uh, stop them having to swipe and scroll uh, to get at all the information. So that the way that we can do this here on my screen, I have just a standard GOMO screen, and um, I have a block of text. So I've got quite a lot of text in there. And uh, I'm going to say I want to show this text if uh, we're viewing this on desktop. So what I'm going to do is just uh, double click this uh, dummy text. And I'm just going to label this as desktop text. Put that in there. Let's put that in bold there so that we know that uh, this is the text that we want to show when we're looking at it on desktop. And uh, also, I want to add in an image again that will have a two column mode here. So, all I do is just go to here, find my static image from my list of assets. I'll drop that into the right hand column. And now let's just quickly go to thumb view. And uh, we'll just have a look here. And I'll just choose a particular image to include. So we'll add in an image there. And uh, here we go. And now what I'm also going to do is uh, let's add in some further text. I'll say that, well, if we're looking at it on a tablet, then we've still got uh, quite a lot of space. Maybe I want just a bit of reduced text in there because there's not quite as much uh, on-screen real estate as we'd have with uh, a desktop. So let me just uh, copy out some of this uh, template text and just go back into here. And here we'll call this uh, tablet text. And uh, just put that in there. And I'm just going to reduce down. Let's just get rid of some of that text. So we have it a bit more proceed. And also want a, an image in there for the tablet. So drop that into the right hand column. And I'm going to say, well, we want a slightly different image if we look at this on tablet. So uh, I'm just going to choose that. And finally, I'm going to say, well, if we're looking at this on smartphone, then I want really just quite condensed text just to summarize the actual screen content. So here, I just drop in another text asset, double click, call this smartphone text. Again, paste in our dummy text in there and just give it, uh, just a small amount of text. Let's tidy that up, make it consistent. Let's go back to my tablet text, make the heading bold. And uh, I'm not going to add in an image here because uh, for smartphone, because I'm going to say, well, actually, um, this, the image is only there really just to support the, the text. And uh, on desktop, we're going to use it. And tablet, we're going to use it because we have space. We don't on a smartphone. So at the moment, if I just ran that, then it would it would then just uh, show me everything on the screen at the same time, no matter what device that I'm running on. So what I need to do now is apply display conditions to these elements so that it will only show these elements depending on what device it's showing. So first of all, let's go to the desktop text here. And over on the right hand side in the text properties, we have set display conditions. So I click on that, click on add a display condition. And now here I'm going to select device type. And I'm going to say show this when the device type equals desktop. Click on update display conditions. Also want to do the same for the image image top. So again here, just go to the image properties, 
scroll down, and again, we have the display conditions. Click on that. Add the display condition again. We're going on device type equals desktop. Now let's do the same for the tablet text. So click on tablet text. Over right hand side, we have the display conditions and the text properties. Add the display condition. Select device type. And this time, I'm going to say tablet. So in effect, show this text if you're viewing it on a tablet. Go to the image, scroll down, click on display conditions, add the same display condition that the device type equals tablet. And finally, we have the smartphone text. So click on that, display conditions, add a display condition, and this is when the device type now equals smartphone. So it's all on the same screen. I haven't had to create different screens for different device types. But now let's click Save. And just save the topic. Topic saved. And now let's just go back. And I'm just going to preview directly from the navigator. So top left hand side, click Preview. And let's see what we get. So I'm in the preview screen. And here in preview, by default, at the top left, it's showing me the desktop view. And here you can see we have our desktop text with the image that we selected for desktop in the right hand side. And now I can see how that's going to look across devices by going to the top left. Let's select tablet. There we go. So now we have our tablet text. So it's just brought in the screen. It's reflowed the text. We have less text, so it's fitting in there. And we have our tablet image. And finally, let's have a look at smartphone. So there we go, same, exactly the same screen. We have our reduced smartphone text. We don't have the image, so the learner doesn't have to, to swipe. So that's the use of uh, device type display conditions to determine what's shown on any given screen based on the device type that the learner is using.